Actually, I have to hit the record button. All right. Uh, serious, getting real, getting serious. We've got the fort in the center, Ada status, awaiting input. Mother needs family hall, praise be the founders. Friend, our efforts have so far failed, but fear not, the others have led you astray. Listen to them no more. A great flood of negativity surrounds us on this world. It has been brought here by a misunderstanding. We must work the soil until we can establish a dialogue with its creator. The turp has been added to your construction menu. Use it and show the others our peaceful intents. Go in peace, traveler. Okay, Sloy, things are getting serious. I'm not sure if I'll ever get home. Turp technology received. Utilize defensive technology for offensive. Secure high ground for superior tactical advantage. Mission priority, nullification, all other priorities suspended. Harmony among brothers is required, otherwise the family withers. Mother can create harmony, must correct mother, praise be the founders. Yes, fixing Ada. That sounds like a priority. Oh. Factory site. Alright, so we got some energy, we got that. Terrain that breeds creeper. When covered with creeper, it'll spawn more creeper. This looks like it's going to be fun, so nullify enemies, activate totems. Nullify that, activate totems, reclaim. Woo, okay, this is fine. So now we got the Terp. For those of you that have never played this before, the Terp is the best. Terp can raise areas such as this. Build a Terp nearby and then select the Terraform button and paint the area. Okay, I'm just going to do that. And we're going to get one mine down. I'm going to want to be kind of efficient with my timing. Oh, shoot. Uh, shoot. Place that one poorly. Okay, so we actually have a couple of energy boxes to get me going. Which is good, because we need a turp. Terraform. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh... Terrain height is this. Ah, this is height 16. Uh, let's see, shift click. That's cool. Copy current terrain, control C. Excellent work, citizen. Now choose a terrain height in the menu at the bottom of your display. Then paint the terrain in with the area to terraform. Hold down shift when painting to erase. If you want the terraforming to go faster, move more terps into range. Go in peace, traveler. Yup. Okay. I don't know how low any of this is, but we want to get rid of our gaps. Otherwise, this is probably going to go badly for me. With the looks of that creeper incoming, I'm on it. Alright. So let's... Get some of these down. Okay. There we go. How much am I generating? Not much. Oh, I see. That's why this isn't extending. It's fine. I'll just rebuild the grid. Kind of. It's... Okay, it's a disaster. There is no grid. The grid is a lie. The only thing... The only thing that matters is Terps. Oops. Well, you know what? I can't actually complain too much about that specific location. Eh. 
Is that valid? Nope. Okay. I said that grit is a lie, but I'm still I'm still gritting it. I'm just gritting poorly. The problem is just universal standardization of, of grid locations is difficult when the whole game does not want you to do that. Well, you know what? I guess I could I can I can force it on all these other locations and not be nearly as sloppy. I wish that, I missed the old delete button. You used to be able to press X and it would just cancel like whatever you had selected. There's probably a button for it, but it used to be X. Cancel space. No, that's not it. Destroy unit. Ah, shift X. So that was close. I guess the one downside is me pressing shift pauses and unpauses the game. But you know what? I can't complain. Is that right? Yeah. There we go. Alright, so we're just going to use my energy stores to get a bunch of these down. And then a turp in every location. Or at least a turp in every corner. Or side? Side. Okay, next up, miners. Okay, I can get a couple of these down. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. Watching that all flow in is real spooky. Okay. Well, it looks like we've got a little bit of time before it starts flowing over, but not much. Okay. Let's, let's actually build up here real quick. Reading perspective is messing with me. Okay. I think that's right. I don't know. Grid business gets real confusing near tight spaces. The Terps will help with this. Woo, okay, it's getting through. Okay. Please build slightly faster. These are going. What I really need are mortars up high. Okay, structure, tower. Oh, oh joy. I forgot about the existence of the shooty dudes. Uh, oh, I don't have any of the red stuff, do I? It's here. <sighs> All right.
I think my best option, seeing as I have no anti-air and pretty much can't build any. Until I reclaim this here. And that's not happening for a bit. I think we're just going to need to build a bunch of guns that I kind of... Well... I'm just going to build a bunch of guns and just kind of spread them evenly around this area. Even if we get hit by missiles, it or missiles, it's just an amount of creep. And so I can potentially just ward it off by having gun. Let's see. There we go. Alright, so the Terps are proceeding pace. If we're lucky, the missile launcher will not immediately shoot into my inner area. Uh, sometimes they just try and increase the, uh, the C. Not betting on it here, though. There it is. Okay. Well, I did say I was going to build some extra mortars just kind of all over the place. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Terraform. It's sloppy. I'll clean it up later. Mortar, mortar. And we're going to move this turp out here. There we go. Did I save the tower? I did. I thought the tower was going to be in trouble. I was wrong. Alright, next up, we need more money. I don't have a huge deficit here. But it could be better. Uh, let's see, move this here. Three of those. The wall is nearly complete. And just having these mortars here to defend this stuff, the ready on ore, is enough. Okay. Oh, the minor efficiency is based on how much blue it covers. I see. I was wondering about that. I wish it would actually specifically show that statistic when placing it down. I don't... I don't think it shows it anywhere. But thanks for the tip. I will stop wasting resources on extra miners. <laughs> I just wasn't sure if it was one of those where it's just like you had to have them down or what. The green bar turns red. Oh, that's what that is. So this one. That makes total sense. Okay, can I... Well, I'm still going to try and maximize the amount of mines I have down. But I'm not going to try and game the system heavily. Okay, Let's slap a turp over here. Let's see. Next couple of spots. Let's see, do we have any other 
Terps that are not doing anything? They kind of are, yeah. Ooh. Nope, we're good. Hit my wall. Doesn't look like we got any Crimson Creeper, though. Alright, so next order of business. We need... You guessed it, more Terp. Let's see. Let's hit the terraform button. Let's um. Let's make a staging platform up here for more terps. Uh, let's see. Beyond that, I mean, no, honestly, I think we're actually in a pretty solid position. I'm not seeing a whole lot of bad boys rolling in. So where's the? Am I just supposed to neutralize this? Oh, no, and reclaim. Oh, that's a concern. How much am I supposed to reclaim? <laughs> Actually, okay, I have 20% of the map, so I guess I'm supposed to reclaim a fair bit. Yeah, look at those square waves. It's a little weird. Like, I realize this is kind of simulating fluid physics, but it is always, it's always amusing to me in these games where it simulates, simulates maybe just a little too hard and stops looking natural. Okay, uh, let's see, other thing. Let's do that, just so we can start actually grabbing some of these locations and building it up. Okay, let's let's actually speed this up, active with pause. I think I'm in a relatively good position, spreading my guns out just kind of in random locations throughout the map has given me a relatively nice safety measure. I don't see a whole lot of gaps where... An errant shot could doom me. So let's just let's just hang out until it's uh until the wall is done. You can get square waves. I've seen them at the Oregon State Wave Pool before. Yeah, but that's that's different. That's not like you can absolutely have a square wave, but that's that's something that does not occur in, in nature. I guess that's the point, though. This isn't natural, either. But... It just looks weirdly artificial. Oh. So, whatever this current height level that I'm looking at is... Has, like, a nice red top. Because there's colors for every... every... height layer. That is so cool watching watching this roll. You can tell this corner is just out of range. So judging by this, height eight has the kind of pretty red. A tub full of anti creep can block the waves. I I am convinced. Okay, sprayer, 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 sprayer. Okay, always on. Always on. All right, splish splash, taking a bath. Okay, this, uh, terraform. 
Okay, it's working. I apparently told these things to work at the wrong height, but like, whatever. Okay, let's get a sprayer up in here too. Oh, that's, that's the wrong thing. I wanted a pylon. There we go. You. Always on. There we go. Uh, let's see. So I think what I'm going to want to do... Move some turps over. There we go. And how's the how is Project Bathtub going? It's getting there. It's not filling particularly fast. But that's that's fine. Take a look at this. Alright. So now, we can get the anti-missile launchers. I wonder if we can actually layer... We'll try it with the, uh, the green stuff, but I, I wonder if you can actually layer a resource. Perfect. Uh... Or, layer. Like, terraform up one of these natural resources, like the Redon Ore. I'm betting a very solid no, but eh, it's worth trying. Okay, let's just get some more cannons up in here, too. What are the green crystals for? It's for making liftic, I think? Yeah. Which is used for activating certain structures. It's pretty much unnecessary. I... Oh, I see. That's the, uh, that's the terp terraforming things. I was like, what are these, like, weird glitchy structures that are just warping around? But no, those, those are just drones. Let's see. Are those turfs? Did they change their name of it? Terp. It just probably sounds like turf because I'm saying it wrong, uh, saying it poorly. Uh, but no, that Knucklecracker did not change the name because of the, because of that. Which, like, I'm not the most comfortable with saying turp. Because that absolutely can sound like turf. But just because a word is similar does not necessarily mean it is at all actually similar. Okay, terraform. I was pretty sloppy with this area. Are we still set to 16? Yes. Paintbrush size. There we go. Bam. There we go. Okay, next up. You know it. Just uh, go a bit, go a bit bananas. Can't be messy if it's all sixteen. Yup. Okay, let's go back to terraform. This is a strategy that I employed. Back when I played this a while back. Oh right, I forgot missiles. We can actually put up some anti-missile things. Anyway, one of the tricks I kind of figured out a, a long time ago when I played this is just to make kind of a series of random platforms instead of these, like, giant plateaus. Though I will fully grant watching these plateaus get made, uh, it looks incredible. Like, it looks really cool. It's a massive drain on my energy. But this is fine. 
Remember Terps from your playthrough of the Creeper World 3? They were OP. They were delicious. I love them. How's the bathtub going? Eh, it's getting there. Most of my structures are underwater <laughs> at this point. It. I don't think it's possible, but it'd be hilarious if I could fill the bathtub all the way so it starts spilling over. Yeah, it's not like you were doing much with the energy. It's true. I. Okay, here's a spoilerish question. Does this still have upgrades, uh, like in in Creeper World 3 and Particle Fleet and stuff. Because I'd love to increase my energy efficiency and mainly my blueite production. Because if we could have bananas blueite, I would be a happy camper. Okay, there are upgrades. Perfect. Yeah, what's with the random hole? I'm pretty sure there's just a smidge of creeper inside. Or I somehow never marked that as a 16. Okay. Yeah, the easy, w easy way to fill in these holes is just put an always on sprayer next to them. Because, yeah, my mortars just aren't shooting into them for whatever reason. Put you to always on. I'm just gonna scoot them over here. Because I think the easiest way to make room for my my terps is just to have anti-creep just kind of in the area leaking onto it. Uh, let's see. Speaking of it's especially true of kind of this area. I guess the other problem is we just don't have a whole lot of anti-creep because. We don't have much for anti-creep, just due to spacing issues, or spacing supply. There we go. Let's fill in these gaps so I have a little bit more room. That one over there. Let's move this here. Let's see, is turf a word? I've only heard turf, not turf. Uh. So turf is, it's not necessarily a slur, but it's a term for uh, women that believe that trans women aren't women and therefore uh, kind of don't belong in the feminist movement, uh, which, you know, on some empirical level, you could maybe be like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. But they often tend to just be kind of hateful people. And so... They're just kind of a hate group. At least that's the way I've seen them. I've I'm sure there are people that justify it some way, shape, or form. But if you've heard of like J.K. Rowling being harangued for being, um, uh, I guess not discriminatory, but uh, for hate speech, uh, it's specifically this, and it's not great because like. They already have it hard enough. You don't need, you know, every child's beloved fantasy author uh, more or less saying that you're not real people-ish. And what did I come back to? The difference between Terp and Turf. Oh, look at it. The bathtub. It's filling up. Ah, you thought Turf meant Mafia territory. That's T-U-R-F. Uh, there's a separate thing. Uh, J.K. Rowling and the career-destroying hot take. Yup. Well, I wouldn't say career-destroying. She's still rolling in money. Uh, but I don't think J.K. Rowling will ever have the amount of clout uh, that she used to have. Uh, especially among young people. Also, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them is kind of mediocre. That's the other thing. Okay. Oh, you know what? This isn't getting done because I don't have enough range here. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to create a squad. Select squad. I bet... I bet if I put them in the anti-creeper bath, they'll still work. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'll just leave them there until we have some more space. So I wonder if you would play the Homeworld series after Homeworld 3 is released. Maybe. I would like to. If she's a billionaire, I don't think it's possible to cancel her. True. Uh, really, the more important thing is actually taking away a person's influence. Sure, you're not going to be able to remove their, their funding, but like, you know what? That's not that important. I, to some degree, she kind of earned her, her wealth regardless of her opinions. Uh, it's not like, uh, what's a good example? Oh, well, it's not like the people that earn their wealth through theft or abuse. Uh, Bezos, for example, I feel like a lot of his wealth was earned on the back of other people. But preferably Rowling's, like, hot takes uh, are more or less ignored by people that could be influ influenced by them instead. It's like you really don't want a, a uh, generations of people that think like, yeah, this makes sense. No, you don't. You don't want that. Let's see. Anyway, as far as the Homeworld games go, I would like to, yes. I would actually like to put a lot of time into the Homeworld games over the course of this winter. Uh, play through Homeworld 1 and 2. And I might honestly go back and play Deserts of Karak. Because, like, the further I move from that game, the more I realize how downright incredible it was. Uh, I wish it had had more of a commercial acclaim. But I think RTS games are just kind of... Uh, I don't want to say dead. But the RTS genre is super niche. Okay. Yeah, how the heck am I supposed to fight against this? Oh. Hold up. It's a feedback loop. Let's, uh... We don't need 16. Let's do, like, 8. Because 8 feels doable. Okay, so the reason why I want to do this is just have a little turf plat... Turf, turf platforms. Gosh, now it's throwing me off. I want to have little terraformer platforms that I just, like, spread here and there. The thing is, these edges create more creep if there's creep on them. But if I lift them up... Let's see. If I lift them up, we might get lucky and it'll stop... Uh, it'll flow off and then never come back. I think that's exactly what you're, what you're supposed to do on this map. Okay. Whew. Height eight ain't much. Okay. Start loading some of these up. There we go. Now we're actually getting what we want. It's probably better that I just keep using the, uh... Let's see. Probably keep it... Uh, it's better to just use the mortars for this one. But this is... This is fine. I'll get it working. See, for Warhammer 40k game that's a mix of Stellaris and Civ. Are we talking Total War Warhammer? Uh, it didn't run on my computer. Ultimately, uh, one of the big problems is I am just constantly swimming in, in new games. And so, even if, like, there are amazing games that I absolutely should try and should play, like, 
how the hell am I going to fit them all in? Hey, this bathtub's almost full. And once it, once this one starts spilling over, uh, that'll make this a little easier, too. So no one else bothered by the color of the anti-creep fluids. Oh, no, it's weird. I just... Like, eh... If I got bothered by every single weird fluid in a video game, I'd be... I don't know. Okay, question. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I can just nullify it from on high. What is the... Question. What is the maximum height that we can go up to? 20. Damn. Give me a second. Brush size. 1. Zoom. And I put the singular terp, King Terp. Okay. Tower there. Yeah, what I'd like to do is just have a number of these platforms. I guess what all I really have to do is just kind of extend along this side. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. That's one of the platforms. Oh, yeah. I, uh... Well, something happened here. I don't know how this happened. Oh, well. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this other mortar. Okay, there we go. For a second, I thought it was lost. How did I... How did I manage to do this? I have no idea. Well... Because the only... I only meant to make one area tall. Now I was experimenting with my brush height and forgot to erase the selection. I guess? I didn't remember even... Well, maybe I did. I don't know. Whatever, it's fine. We're just going to do height 8. But yeah, I want to see what happens if I... If I turp this up, if it'll stop producing creep. Or if I have to unilaterally... De... Uh, Depower this whole damn place. Okay, let's, let's try this. Otherwise we go insane with anti-creep and just try and take it out that way. Okay, it's definitely producing less. Yeah, it's straight up not even producing. Past a certain height here. Okay, so I, th I think this idea... This is exactly what they wanted me to do over the course of this round. Whoops. Just gotta keep the cursor... ...centered. This should be pretty easy to enforce, too. All we need is just to have terps going along the side. Okay. So the other question is, how does the bathtub look? It's getting there. Let's see, do we have any other terps? Yeah. Go to 
one do we have? This one. Let's see, you're not firing on anything. And you're not firing on anything. Let's see, pylon here. There we go. Uh oh. I move it back. There we go. So all it needs is just a quick refill. Clear this out real quick. All right, we're good. Other thing, probably just put that there. Get a pylon down. There we go. I don't think we need more than that. Right, how's this looking? Yeah. So these sections here barely expand. Uh, let's let's terraform. Let's let's put this up to sixteen. Main reason being, and yeah, we can potentially also have like random breaks here in the line that should. Uh, that should prevent it waving out. Because what I'd like to do is is just have a massive dry patch that extends slowly. I mean, this whole area is dry. What I could do, if I really wanted to spend the next hour hour here, I could, I could actually just raise almost everything up to height 16. Uh, but that, that's, that's boring. I don't want to do that. Okay, there we go. Grab. Grab this guy. Move it here. Get that that pylon. All we need is just a little bit of anti creep. Wow, really? Okay. So here's the earth. Round. Let's try mortars. Okay. Looks like the answer is mortar, not anti-creeper. Especially probably because I'm having major anti-creeper supply issues. There we go. Back to terraform. So one other thing, let's do height ten. Cause I think that'll work better. Because one of the problems is we've effectively made these little little creeper traps. And stuff's getting caught in there. There we go. Now let's go back, charge you up. Look, it's kind of working. The big issue is I need I need a tower. There we go. Alright, now it's juiced up. So the question is, can I? Yes. Okay. This is going to be a little slow. We are going to leapfrog cannons and terps. So effectively, all I want is this pattern forever. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. Okay, we, m we might still need the anti-creeper turret. Just for the little bits. Because unfortunately, I think this is set to... There's no way to change it. Okay, let's... Let's just pull this one in. Hand in there. Turp there. Tower right behind. Pylon right in there. Uh, let's see. I can get rid of that one. Okay. Yep, we pretty much got this entire entire area on lock. Let's take a look. There we go. It is definitely slower. Maybe here. Let's... This is going to take twice as long, but I can fit twice as much stuff. Uh, so, so we want to do 10... We want to do brush size two. There we go. We might still want to have some height gaps here and there, but that should be fine. So what exactly are you supposed to be doing this mission? So we have this kind of blue cracked ground, which creates creep automatically. Which is really inconvenient if you're trying to, uh, if you're trying to get rid of creep along the way. Uh, let's see, because there's effectively, oh boy. Oh, boy. Ow. Shoot. Okay, you know I said I need height breaks here and there? This is why. Okay, let's... Let's do a height 20 right here. Because if it's all 10, then we're going to run into problems. So let's do height 6, routinely. I'm going to make parapets. Because, yeah, if I break it up like this... This should prevent it from doing anything. Okay, here we go. Yeah, if any creep touches it, it starts going nuts. And so the trick is to make it so no creep creep gets up. Okay, how's the bathtub looking? Well, it's getting there. Once the bathtub fills out, we will be in a happier spot. I'm just going to get a couple of cannons. We also have, like, a huge amount of guns that I could maybe use for something. I guess, let's grab two. Get a pylon here. Let's see, is there... Yeah, there's just a little bit of creeper on this area. Ah, that's the secret. I actually needed guns. Because the guns fire fast enough that no bonus creep flows upwards. So while the mortars are good at clearing the area, I need at least one or two guns in the air. I I bet I bet this will work. I, I, the sprayer, I think, just wasn't spraying enough. Okay. So, two turps, 
Two guns. And two mortars. And that should that should be all of what I need. Ideally, four turps just for the extra uh, train manipulation. It doesn't look like he's making progress. This is kind of slow. Uh, let's see. Terraforming. Here's an option. For the brakes when it goes down to six. Because I'm not going to be putting guns there. Let's try that. Yeah, and unfortunately, some of these missions can be a bit slow. And I'm sure there's probably a better way that I could do this, but... This is working pretty well for me. Yeah, there are definitely faster ways, but let wander be wander. Yup. Seeing as I'm already set in my ways and I'm probably not going to change it, uh, what other tactics would you guys use on this one? I mean, I guess I, I guess I could see really aggressive gun pushes to just deny. It would be the other trick, like just rolling in a, a silly amount of guns, landing it somewhere. Let's see. Well, I'm not getting missiled anymore. Let's see. Yeah, see, I, I feel like that's... This isn't going to work the way I want it to, no matter what. Okay. That I could try it, but I bet it would go badly. I could see opening the bathtub. The main problem is the bathtub does not have nearly as much generation here. Let's see. Isolating part of the replicator zone. Use it for AC. Can you? I guess let's find out. Because, yeah, if the replicator zone... For me, uh, if the Replicator Zone does work with Anti-Creeper, then that makes my life so much easier. It doesn't look like it. Maybe? No. Because if it did, it would start flowing up the sides. Man, that would be rad if you could take it over. Let's see, there's a different train color that works both ways. Alright. Yeah, I like, I like the idea of it. Even if in actuality it, it's not going to work here. Because, yeah, that would be rad if, you, if I could seize the, uh, the duplication method myself. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, okay, so... Is that... Is that the same? Oh, maybe it is. So one thing I might want to do is give myself more room. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. Actually, I bet for this, we can just hi have height six. Okay, I'm going to try that. 
Let's get a small army of troops together out here. Move them down over here. Because I think I think my once my one style it works is just slow. I can make it faster, probably. The big issue is just space. slap a pylon there. And the big problem is I just don't have quite the space that I'm looking for. But I guess maybe I can make it. Okay, structure, pylon. Worst comes to worst, we lose all these guns. But there's maybe a possibility I can take and hold a location out here. Somewhat aggressively. Yeah, so it actually looks like my best option truly is is cannon rush. As usual. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's give that a go because this is going to take a long time otherwise. And while I'm enjoying kind of the the zenness of. Clearing everything out. It's probably better for me to actually... Let's see. Let's make it slightly less. Probably just clean it out. Okay. Grab these. Roll them in. Because, yeah, this works. But this is a very safe and kind of boring method. I can do better than that. I can cannon rush. I got a bunch of spare guns that I'm not using. Let's bring them in. Let's do this. Uh, let's see. Create a squad. Alright. Y'all get in here. Okay, structure, pylon. Yeah, by having these upraised areas for my pylons to sit on, that means they don't get hit by the creep nearly as bad. There we go. Well, this works. Uh, let's go terraform for a second. Uh, shift click. Oh, here we here we go. Brush size flood. Oh, no 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 no. Oh, I see. Flood is the paint bucket tool. Oh, that's cool. Uh-oh. This didn't work. Some creep got out here. How'd that happen? Ah, there's the answer. Any amount of creep will throw it off. Any. So, I think the real answer on this map... 
at least the the correct answer is still have the brakes because it can flow too fast. The guns are a good alternative. Oh, a number of these are just out of juice because they don't have any towers nearby. That would explain some things. Uh, let's see, but having having some some legitimate wave breaks here and there really would solve the problem. Let's see, gotta mix in some mortars. Kind of. I think mortars or terps would do the trick. I think what you want to do is start with the guns. Let's see. Start with the guns, then bring in the mortars. And don't forget to power all of them. There we go. And then... I think if we ever do a mission like this, again, where we've got these, what I'd want to do is probably sectionalize the map. So just have a cut going this way, a cut going this way, and a cut going this way. That way, no matter what, we never run into problems. Yeah, the other reason why I'm going slow is I really want to see what happens when the bathtub start, starts overflowing. Because I think that's going to be really funny to watch. Okay. Other big fear. What we probably want to do is actually leapfrog groups. Let's see. Because by leapfrogging groups, I guarantee that there's no bonus splashback that... Yeah, there we go. Alright, I don't need anything else but guns, but I need I need to leapfrog guns to make it work. Uh, let's see. Let's get a pylon set up in here. There we go. Just so it doesn't have to take a really long way around. It's... yeah, this is faster. Okay, there we go. So we'll lose one or two. There we go. But otherwise, we're actually doing quite fine. All right, now it's now it's starting to overflow. Okay, put that there. I'm going to just do this for the extra energy. Because what I'd like to do is potentially take my, my mines back. Let's see. Or take the mines, turn them all into blue white. Increase bathtub. Alright, how's this group doing? It's getting there. They're good. Yep. Uh-oh. Kind of knew this was going to happen. All right, you guys. All of the spares. All right. Let's take the, uh... Terp squad real quick. Rush size down to... One. Eight, six. Still got it in flood mode. There we go. So the reason why I want to do this... Is this way, natural barrier, nothing ever comes back. And bites me in the ass. 
Okay, do I get any more Terps here? I got a couple. Let's do the same right here. Terraform. Because, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be much. But this way, no creep flows back onto my onto my setup. Oh, is that the delicate sound? It was. All right. So we could actually... We don't have to keep going here. Okay. Select squad. Okay. okay. We're gonna we're gonna probably accrue some casualties with this. Okay, so where's where's the other artifacts that I should hook up? Now that's the crystal. Oh, we're right next to it. Oh, oh no. I don't know how that gap came to be. Okay, there we go. Because, yeah, it, it must have just been, like, a little bit of creep, probably when this flew right in. I was very close. Well, that's why I had the second section and the little wave break. Oh, we need Liftic. Ah, we can't activate either of these until I get to the Liftic system. Nope, that's fine. Structure, weapon, cannon. Ah. Right, While well, we're here, pylon. Yeah, I most definitely do not have pylons leading out here. I probably should. Alright. Hello, replacement cannon group. Get in there. I believe in you. I forgot the number one rule about strategy games. Redundancy is good. Alright, let's, let's grab these suckers. There's supposed to be a third? Oops, maybe I sh shouldn't do that. I don't know. Grab all these guys. Get them out there. Okay, so next up, Terraform. Slap these guys down, right here. Okay. Keep extending the towers. There we go. Back to terraform. Not that we're in particularly dire straits, but still. Where's where's my extra terraformers? Let's bring them in, just in case. And yeah, my other method, I think, was safer than this. But this method is definitely faster. Let's see, next up, Pylon. One there. There we go. 
There's a functional pylon system. Oh, I'd like to select this group, please. Thank you. Okay, move these guys forward. Okay, let's let's actually plot this down. I don't quite have enough space. There we go. That's the stuff. That's what I'm looking for. Alright. Minimal, minimal losses. We can clear this whole area. Perfect. Hey. Harder to select my guns here. Bring you guys in. And now that I've got four-ish groups kind of moving around... I'm in a good spot. Let's, uh... Ignore some of this. Just slap these around. There we go. He's good. Yeah, so the towers are the towers are getting built. They're just getting built very slowly. Uh let's see. Do I have more? There we go. Pylons somewhere. There we go. Everything is nice and pretty. Probably gonna lose some guys here, but we're almost done. Hey! Which means we can actually go here. Slap a refinery down, finally. There will be... There will be no enemies today. No more creep on this map. I do love the idea of the creep replicators, though. That's really cool. Uh, no. How and where did this happen? You know, I said it's good to make some extra wave breaks just in case. See, I'm, I'm going to be chasing this all the way over here. Okay. Because, yeah, my guns can't hit here. And so there's a... God damn it. Six is not enough, apparently. I'm going to be chasing this halfway through the map. Let's, uh, be proactive. Frustratingly, my guns are very slow. Okay. Wait, I have one other option. There's my... Terps. Okay, Terraform. Size Flood. Uh, let's see, ter Terrain Height 3. Okay. Oh. That's a pricey pizza. 
We headed it off though. But yeah, let's let's start just emptying the bathtub. I think there's just a smidge of creeper up here. Maybe. Whew. Could have gone better. Could have gone a lot worse. And that is why my slow and steady wins the race method is sometimes the better strategy. Or the best strategy. I don't know. We almost had to go back through the entire level fixing it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's okay. We've unleashed the bathtub. There we go. What's up, Shell? No, I'm not. I was wondering if I'm calling for her. I don't know why bathtub, but still. I realized I could rift jump, and I probably could have just rift jumped at any point. But... I just... At this point, it's more of a point of honor to finish this level. Yeah, can't you just drain the tub? It's true. I was honestly shocked that the tub never overflowed. Alright, I think that's it. Now, if I really wanted to, I could just sit here for the next, like, hour and let this whole map fill up, which I think would be really funny. Well, let's not. Rift jump! Yeah, does the replicator replicate the anti-creep? I wish it did, because that would be obscene. Well, that took me far too long, but that's okay. Uh, did it? Okay. It didn't freeze. I was worried. More and more. Well, that one took a while. 